And welcome back, folks, to more Spellforce 3. Last time we played, we got a new character. We got Iskrim, the dwarf. He's going to help us out to find the Shaper City? Question mark? We built him as a tanky, tanky shaman, shaman. So, I don't know if that's any good. We gave him a wand too, but I think more ranged characters would be good. Chatar is pretty tanky, well, kinda, presumably. So, what's the plan? Huh? Yes. We should buy some potions though. We we kind of blew through Kalea them. To um, so now let's get uh, 20 potions and 10 of blue. That should be good. Otherwise, could get a helmet for our buddy here. Actually, we got a we got a hood. Oh, he can't wear the hood. Cannot be used by Iskrim. Okay, why? Why can't she wear the hood? A fair offer. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. Weird. Old Audrey's son just came running into the village, telling everyone you made it. Is that true? Are the orcs dead? They are. For now, at least. For now. I don't like how that sounds. But I suppose you're right. The peaceful times are over. It's so, okay. You got like 16 now? catapults There's in the back. There's an ancient shaper city nearby, and the dwarf knows a way inside. We're going there as soon as possible. A shaper city? Would you mind telling me what the Harbinger is hoping to find there? So, do we tell her that we can't tell her? Or do we tell her it's a cure for the blood burn? Let's be secretive. I'm sorry, I can't. I see. Well, darling, I just hope you know what you're doing. As they say, some secrets are better left buried. Do you think you could come back once you're done there? There's something else I might need your help with. I have some, how shall I say, friends in high places. And something tells me that you'll need more allies soon. So why would I need allies? Why would I need allies? We're not trying to start a war. I know, and maybe I'm wrong, but you've got something about you that attracts trouble it's your auras Emotion, so to speak and even if i'm wrong we could still really use your help your red chakra is very powerful it attracts violence what kind of friends in high places would a village mayor have enough just trust me all right i'll see what i can do then i guess we should go guess you should goodbye and good luck thank you Isgrim, where is that entrance? Well, if I'm not mistaken, it should be up north. <laughs> I suggest you lead the way. Somewhere. Or... I guess. Oh, we lost all our units. Oh, we can uh, get a new helmet here. A helmet that gives us. 50 health? Sign me up, baby! Uh-oh, we're hearing music. Hmm. 
Was that just me, or...? The Song of the White. Yes. There might be blood burned soon. So, that was the song you were talking about? Yes. Sod it. Yes. I remember now. I've heard it before. Very faintly, though. I mistook it for the wind. Many people do, I guess. This area is going to get blood burned. Blood burned. More fighting. Does this never end? We probably should put fireball here. So infusion, what it does is it buffs you and your uh, your magic. Uh huh. Hmm. Well then, I think there should be it. A chunk of rocks. At the risk of blowing your mind, the most prominent feature of a hidden entrance usually is that it's hidden. We just need to find a way to open it. <clears throat> All right, let's try this. Zaran Yege Yanor! Brace yourselves. Maybe you mispronounced the words. <laughs> Look, there might be a great many things you can do that I can't, but reading a text from a piece of paper isn't among them. I'm not stupid. At four ends. Well, but you did say you're not exactly an expert on shaper language. Let us have a try. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Go ahead. Xaren Nigei Yanor. You did it. <laughs> Boy, Nihal, you did it. We opened the door to the lost city. Huh, impressive. Yes, impressive. For millennia, no one has A ever furry. opened that door. A shapeshifter. I'm guessing you're here to avenge your brethren? No. I'm simply intrigued by what you just did. To build an army from pitchfork-wielding villagers and destroy the cow of an orc tribe is one thing. But to open that door, that's an entirely different story. Look, I know this might sound odd from orc to human, but I might need someone with your skills. An orc? If you're interested. Meet me at the foot of Barga Gore. I think we could help each other. Hang on. Why would you want to help me after I killed your brethren? They weren't my brethren. These orcs you killed were Ash Reavers. I'm a fire wielder. And they had it coming to them. Invading human territory was just foolish. I have no sympathy for them. Either way, consider my offer. Wolf Riders. Well, that was. <laughs> well, that just happened. We'll think, of this later. think on this? So you're actually considering his offer? Maybe. The mayor wasn't so wrong about the fact that we might need allies. Now let's go in, shall we? Sure. Lead the way. Though your legs ache and your stomach burns with hunger, you cannot help but feel a vague... <laughs> writing is terrible. ...as you descend into the black tunnels. For the first time in a very long time, you feel as if you have... direction. Purpose. You're pulled from your thoughts as you see shadows dancing on the walls up ahead in the tunnel. A fire. It's modern writing. Is this another German RPG? I don't think so. Yeah. Is it just me or does it smell rotten in here? I'm afraid you're right. Even though the more pressing question should be, why are there lit candles in a place that hasn't been open for millennia? 
But you are certain this is the path to Mullendir? Absolutely. Something lives down here. The only question is, what? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, all we're missing oh, is the Avengers. You read my mind. Danger up ahead! What? S strange creatures! Run! Whatever's necessary. All right. Primitive altar surrounded by dark magical signature. Necromancy. I'll keep you shielded. Is someone romancing next here. Get ready. Let's find out. Here we go. They will fall. Sure. Molog. I feel like that would be a good goblin name. You read my mind. Ah. Ah. Oh, fine. Why is the mage in front, by Fair the way? Let's cry right. God King too strong. God King too cruel. More fighting. Does this never end? Yes. Don't you guys start now. I'll take a look. Severed goblin head. I'll just put that in my pack. Oh, 50 health. It's a ring. Who should have the 50 yes. health ring? Well, obviously our main character. Just give the word. Rare Lucky L. No. We're having fun here. Am I the only one who just saw that? I'm afraid not. It must have been another goblin. Yeah, and a pretty damn big one. Mm, looks pretty narrow. I don't think we'll fit through there. Though so maybe... Wait, do you hear that? Grunting. Maybe the goblin built a workshop behind that wall. Hmm. Maybe we could lure it out by throwing some meat at it? Macabre, I know, but if it gets the job done. Let me like see. a goblin head? Mentors, heavy shield. Pretty good. Can you use a shield? Five strength. Forget about it. Good. We best get some cover now. Let's see if this works. You got it. Ugh, meat. Tasty, tasty food for power. Hmm? Whatever's necessary. <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell fresh meat. Get ready. Looks oh. like the need to kill the, uh, the dwarf. Corporal, what do we need? Uh, all right, why not? Eat you! I will eat you! Fair enough. Yeah. Let's do this. I need help over here. That way? I need help over here. 
It's over. Great mace. Okay. I submitted my survey homework. Good job, Luck. All right, it's level time. It's level time. It's level time. All right, we got to follow the guide. Presumably. Do you consider Yakuza an RPG or an action? Well, it's an action RPG. Uh huh. All right, Yuria. Resurrection? You're always the first one to die. If Caster has conditioned Hierophant, cleanse all active afflictions. Hierophant? I don't know. Um, uh, something you need. Something you need. That's right. I need you to be intelligent. Severely damages enemy buildings. Oh, he can be our siege guy. Siege Dwarf? Yes. Let's go! Oh, okay, the heal got bigger. That's a lot better. They will Strange. Hit him with the fireball. I already have 16 catapults? No. Now would you look at that? I lost them all. They're gone now. Interesting. They went back to the peasants. I don't know what they're going to do with that, but Here we go. All right. More fighting. Does this never Lasers. What is that thing? Looks like a golem to me. Maybe the shapers created it. Huh. Huh. Oh. Don't, don't really care. Hello. Speak the words. Is that my imagination or did that thing just talk to me? I'm afraid so. Well, that just happened. Speak the words. To win the chalice, listen to me. All for one and one for all. That is the key. I'll keep you shielded. I'll keep you shielded. You don't even have a shield. <sighs> Fine. Danger up ahead. Ah! I think that would be amused. Poison mushroom. 
Ah, uh, we could have gave the poison mushroom to the guy. All right, here goes nothing. Hmm. Ah. War fighting. Does this never end? King Scions! You! Ugh! You smell unclean! Filthy! Strange creatures you are! Where come from? Who are? We should kill you. We don't mean any harm. Leave the questions to us. We should kill you. Do you live here? Do you live down here? Down here? God King does not understand. There is only here. Here in the dark beyond. The dark beyond? Yes. Big city. Dark and cold. City of old gods. Evil place. Deadly place. God King protects Scions from evil in dark beyond. Hmm. We aren't your enemy. Your people attacked us first. Yes. Yes, Scions did attack you because Scions were scared. God King wants you no harm. God King is good person, protects people from the great evil in dark beyond. Good but goblin? Protect. God King needs power. Well, that just happened. Power. Okay, I gotta, I gotta stop doing that. Scion flesh. Flesh is power. Raw and strong. Wait a moment. Did you just say that you eat your own people? To protect! To protect from dark beyond! God King has to. If not, he will lose power. So, what do you protect your people from? Monsters? From horror! From pain! But strange flesh people would not understand. Strange flesh people have not seen it. Readable Goblin Companion of Possibility. Get out! Get out immediately. Darkness bred from Lost City. Fourteenth day, it comes and takes Scions, children, men. Go chill for a while. Them, slaughters them. And only power can drive it back. And for power, God King needs flesh. Sad, sad cycle of pain. Hmm. Maybe he's talking about a spectral abomination, a, a kind of ghost. I've read about these in some writings on shape of ruins. Or maybe he's just plain bonkers. I guess we won't be around long enough to find out. What's a bonkers? God King does not like to be talked about like that. That's gruesome. This is gruesome. Didn't you explore all the romance possibilities in Baldur's Gate 3? Didn't listen, did they? I gotta tell God you about that. God does not eat. God King loses power. And then evil from dark beyond will take them all. Ugh. Strange fleshmen, disrespectful. Strange fleshmen should leave. Go back where they came from. We can't. We're here to find the lost city, Mullendir. The dark beyond, as you call it. But you will die. We don't have much of a choice. Can you help us get past this gate? I, uh, God King does not like. But God King understands. Yes, he will help. But you will help God King first. <laughs> is this really necessary? Is this really necessary? Can't you just let us through? No, God King can't and God King won't. You help him, he helps you. Group of treacherous scions tried to steal my throne. You kill scions for God King. Bring him their flesh as proof. God King shows you way through door. Understood? God King will be here. Were these rebels a small group in the southern parts of the caves? I think I killed them already. You 
did? Show him. Show God King their flesh. Um, sure. Here. Yes, yes. Strange flesh people speak truth. It's them. You honest. You loyal. God King will answer your question. Well, he, I don't know why he decided to keep the head of that particular That's goblin. That's the way. But he did. This way, right? Hmm. Wanted a little souvenir for the trip. Part of Stone Golem. Stone Golem core. Golem companion? Understood. Yes? What do strange flesh people want? Anyway, it's time for you to keep your end of the bargain. How do we get through this door? What of the words? Are strange flesh people certain? They will die. Just tell us the words. God King understands. The words are Kalan Zugaruge. Speak words to stone men and door will open. Hmm. Shaper language. You eat your own people? I think we'll be off now. Uh, farewell. Huh? Hmm. Sure. Uh That's the way. There's got to be a way to change the uh I wonder what war world map is though. We'll probably find out later. Speak the words. Kualan Zagaruge. You may pass. What? It worked. Huh. Let's find out what he was guarding, shall we? Uh, all right. Why not? And now we kill him. Nihal's hammer. This is beautiful. I won't argue with that. No, we, we found the Protoss base. Do you feel that? Wind. We're getting close to the exit. Many tales have been told about Mulandir, the lost city of the Shapers. While some scholars go so far as to doubt its very existence, others claim that it was a utopia, an unconquerable city in a valley of never-ending summer. However, they all agree on one thing. Whoever finds it will go down in history. Find me, Half. We've we found it. This is amazing. I agree. Now where can we find clues about the Bloodburn? Is Grim? Huh? Did you say something? I said, where should we start searching for clues? We need to find out more about the song. Ah, uh, the song? Yes, of course. Do you think we could rest for a moment first, though? I'd like to take some sketches of this place. What a marvelous idea! Well, how about we go back to Everlight to get some charcoal first? It's not as if we're in a hurry. <laughs> You're mean. <sighs> All right. I guess you have a point. The only problem is... Bullying the dwarf. The for tongue isn't an easy task. We can't just walk in here and expect to find the answers we're looking for. Then what do you suggest? I... Huh, I assume the Nexus would be the best place to The go. Nexus? It really is a Protoss base. What? Huh? The Nexus? Long story. In short, it's every Shaper City's core. It's where they drew the energy for their constructions from, where they created their devices, and, and where they stored their knowledge. All right, then. Let's go. Yes? Mm -hmm. Got it. 
there's any enemies in this utopia. Oh wait, there's someone here. Uh, I'm sorry, but we don't understand. We Kwaslan Za um Zaladar Punara Yuganza Zawayetu Kwanlar Zanju Nomyan Kesnai Zanladar You speak their tongue? A bit. I've never used it in an actual conversation though. I still can't believe this is happening. We're we're talking to a living shaper. Think this is a shaper? So you think this is actually the spirit of a shaper? It's not a spirit, Tahar. This man, he's neither dead nor undead nor alive. It's almost something like an ethereal puppet string is keeping his life force in place. Not enough for him to die, yet not enough for him to be truly alive. Fascinating. That's fascinating. Well, not what I'd call it, but yeah, I guess. So, what did he say? I... I don't think he was talking to us. He's not even entirely aware of our presence. I think he's gone completely insane. Interesting. We should kill him! Not much we can do. What do we do, chat? You decide. Are we pro shaper or anti shaper? Two. Okay. We should kill him. Better safe than sorry. Wait, what? Have you gone completely bonkers? This might be a living shaper for heck's sake. We're not just gonna murder him. It's too dangerous. I'm sorry, Scrim, but I'm not taking any risks. We'll kill him. All right, you do that and I leave. I don't want to work with a bloody murderer, even if Lacain is paying me a fortune. Corporal, just let it go, will you? Iskrim is right. That ghost isn't a threat. Fine. Then let's just... Get <laughs> He's so mad. We better. Let's go find the Nexus. Ugh. I wanted to kill him. Lots of them. How did they get here? They could be shapers, couldn't they? This way, right? Understood. Fake choices? Oh yeah, the game is full of that. Yes. More of them. This place is a bloody graveyard. Baldur's Gate 3 lets you kill everyone. This is not Baldur's Gate 3, though. Right here. Sounds like a plan. Hmm. Immune to instant kill. We should get moving. Sure. <laughs> Blasted armor. Another ghost. Hmm. He's red. Why not? You read my mind. So there's two gates we couldn't activate. Oh, it's probably... That's 
probably that. What's gonna happen Understood. is that we're gonna go to the Nexus. It's gonna say like, oh, you need to activate the gates. But to activate the gates, you have to kill the Shapers. Sounds like so a plan. So we got a ghost one, we got a fire one. Got it. Here we go. Walking corpses. Take them down. Ah! I'll keep you shielded. All right. I'm a treasure here. You would think, you know, sure. ancient city, but here we are. Fair enough. Let's do this. Nihal's it. hammer. Is this incredible? The buildings are almost still intact. Hard to believe nobody ever found this place before. Right in the middle of Iskander. Nothing here. That's the way. <clears throat> oh, we're zombies. Oh, that is necessary. I'm dead. Zombies. It could be that they left their bodies behind <clears throat> to have immortality. But immortality is actually a curse. Oh, and they the all went insane. Ah! More this place is a bloody graveyard. Yes. That way? Like how she ran directly into the poison. That was my archer dying. It was the goblin. Will do. All Walking right, corpses. here goes nothing. Take them down. There, another ghost. Hmm. Another thing? Yes. Oh, the Nexus is here, so you read my mind. <clears throat> let's go check that out. Huh? Ah, yeah. Do you see that overgrown building? That's the Nexus. The overgrown golem. House hammer. It looks just like on the stone carvings. Seems to be protected by some kind of barrier, though. How do we get past? Excellent question. I doubt we can banish that barrier by force. Maybe. Huh. Yeah, the ghost. He might know something. Worth a try, I suppose. Let's head back. Uh huh. This way, right? Gotta go all the way back. We could use a great mace, but there's no real point.
I wonder how many levels you can gain. Let's see. Punara Yuganza. Zawayetu Kwanlar. Zamzuvu Mijar. Zangadar. Zamzuvu Mijar. Well then, Iskrim, can you ask him about the barrier? Yes. <clears throat> Vorzan Devlar. Zawa Yetu Zavandyaras? What? Van Drax. Verzan Devlar. Punara Yuganza. Zawa Yetu Kanlar. Zamzvu Namyan Kesnai. Okay. Devlar. Oh, I see. So? It's complicated, but I think I understand now. He's part of a defense mechanism, so to speak. His soul is bound to the city in order to protect it. I think he wants to be freed. What? We have to kill them to open the barrier? Man. That's crazy. Does he know how the Shapers died? That's one of the greatest mysteries on Eo. I asked him that, but he didn't react. I think he knows, but his mind isn't able to process my question. It's sad. There's the source of Shaper knowledge, yet we cannot access it anymore. Source of knowledge? That's a person you're talking to. Or was one. You'd know that, right? I do. Doesn't make his existence less phenomenal. If he's here to protect, why didn't he attack us? Good question. Maybe the magic that controls him got weaker with the centuries. Hmm. And if we free him, will that banish the barrier? Well, the problem is he's not alone. There are still three more of his kind here in Mullendir, and God damn it, I called all, it again. Won't get us any closer. Did I write this game? Then we need Please. To find them all. How do we free them? Well, that's the thing. I might have misunderstood, but I think we need to fight and well kill him. It's the only way. Blazes, this is so ironic. Here we are, the first sentient beings to walk this city in millennia, and now Well, if we want to enter the Nexus, I doubt we have a choice. Also, they don't exactly seem too happy here. I know I wouldn't if I'd been roaming a deserted city as living dead for millennia. I know. It's what they want. Attack the ghost. Then let's get this over with. Attack the ghost. I'm sorry. Then let's get this over with. Zalam Kar! Clearly not enough. Him. The Godstone. Imprint our rune on the Godstone. That might sever the connection. Uh, all right. Why not? Danger up ahead. Just give the word. Hmm. <sighs> what a waste. Let's see what he has on him. Rune shard. Oh, a shard. I... Wait. Tahar, that rune Lacan gave you, could you show it to me? Sure. Fascinating. They look alike. How is that possible? Good question. I suggest we take a closer look at it later in the Nexus. Now come. I'd like to get this pointless butchering over with as soon as possible. Ah! They will fall. Would you look at that? All right, well, <clears throat> let's go kill the four guys.
it really does feel like a like a Warcraft 3 RPG where you would have more freedom ah, with your characters you, you still have the RTS moments the writing's terrible though I'll take a look. The Rexar campaign, yeah, basically. <sighs> Fine. Yeah, I, I, yeah, whatever's necessary. No, it's terrible. Dead. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I feel like I could write this, and I'm not a writer. You know what I mean? Time to become one, but then I would write stuff like this. Is this what you want, chat? More of this? Well, that just happened. You read my mind. More of them. This place is a bloody graveyard. Fighting. This Don't cry for me. I'm already dead. Ah. You read my mind. I fell asleep during the militia RTS segment and Get woke right. up to the same writing. Well, it's. I highly doubt they would change the whole writing thing. Here we go. But yeah, gameplay wise, I, I I do like this. Don't get me wrong. That's the way. Sounds like a plan. Mm hmm. They will fall. It's the Warcraft Three at home game, basically. Got it. <gasps> yes. Whatever's necessary. Oh, God damn it, my guy was stunned. Okay, so when he dies, he makes an AoE stun. That way? Fair enough. <laughs> 
Let's do this. That's cheeky. Whatever's necessary, huh? Hmm? Well, right. yes, understood. I think I just killed him so many times that he lost all his revive charges. Sure. Would you look at that? It worked. <sighs> I was half expecting the city to blow up in our faces. Now, wait. Do you hear that? Nehaus hammer. Giant enemy mech. Dying here. Hmm? All right, here goes nothing. Blasted armor. So, what's the plan? Corporal? Uh, all right, why not? It's like a raid boss. Sure. Split the DPS. This is what we would do if we were playing Final Fantasy XI private server. was that a steel guardian it must have been they were are one of the many creatures the shapers created to keep their cities safe yeah a giant walking armor with a bloody spiked club sure helped to ease their citizens minds well it's dead now and the path is clear let's find out what's behind that door huh hmm nexus or not there's definitely an impressive energy radiating from behind that door. Kind of unsettling, to be honest. So, Tahar, do you want to go in? Hell yeah. Just stay wary. We have no idea what to expect. The stone doors fall shut behind you as you step through the overgrown arch, and you are met by an almost eerie silence. Yet you immediately feel a presence, a power long forgotten. Waiting for someone or something to wake it from its slumber. The Nexus must be nearby. Incredible. So, this is the Nexus? The upper levels. We'll need to go further down to find the heart. Come. I hope we can build some probes. Just give the word. Gotta get some minerals, man. This way, right? Mm hmm. Blazes. That thing's huge. <sighs> Fine. You'll regret this. Hit him with the shield. Bonk. There's interrupt abilities. Yeah. 
probably learn them. Hmm. Alright, we're done farming the jungle. That's the way. Got it. This way, right? Sounds like a plan. Now we probably want to clear out everything, especially since we're so close to a level. Get ready. More fighting. Does this never end? Here we go. I do like that it's tied to a party level. So anyone who would join us ah. would be like level nine. Fair enough. Let's do this. Here we go. Ah. You read my mind. Get ready. Whatever's necessary. You read my mind. for a fight. Danger up ahead. Yes. All right. Let's um, start casting some fireballs. gonna create a fire and ice golem now would you look at that crossbow if target is draconoid Draconoid? You got it. Sounds like a plan. Sure. That way? We'll do. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Blasted armor. Sure. Is Jake a draconoid? Yes. It's the only way someone would play Draken more than once. All right, here goes nothing. Ah. More fighting. Does this never Get end? Ready. Let's see. Oh, reinforced scale armor. That goes for Chitar. Mm -hmm. You almost look like a real soldier now. They will fall. More than five minutes. Understood. And Dragon's uh, Dragon's a little rough. Not gonna lie. Necessary. You gotta be a real Draconoid to like that. Three hundred experience. A golem. Rock Golem. Oh, I don't want to use that. What's next? Uh, 
All right, why not? I'll keep you shielded. No use shields. You'll regret this. What is he doing? All he does is spin around. Get a new move, idiot. Same without the modulator. Yes. We should get moving. That way? We'll do. Oh, new helmet. Revitalizing Valsgard helmet. Constitution 5, I think, uh... No, this groom doesn't wear helmets. He's beyond helmets for some reason. I don't know why. Yes. Oh, fine. All right. Too good for helmets. It More seems. fighting. Does this never end? Ah! I'll keep you shielded. Oh, fine. You read my mind. Well, he's going to be a um, benched character if I can't put a helmet Danger on him. Health check. To this day, the Shaper's magical and technological prowess Still got an elf. Rivaled. One thing is clear. None of their marvels would have been possible without an incredible amount of magical energy. According to Iskrim, this is it. The heart of the Nexus. The source of the Shaper's power. So we're not benching the elf? I think we're still in story mode. Well, blow me down with a feather. And here I thought this couldn't get any more impressive. Then I'm guessing we got lucky? This is the Nexus? Yes. We found Mullendir's heart. So, as I said already to Har, if we're to find out anything about the blood burn in this city, it'll be here. Do you see that massive pillar in the center? That's where the Shapers drew their energy from. They used it to communicate, to store knowledge, to power the mechanisms in their city, and to build some of their most magnificent creations. What did they create? Just creatures? Well, obviously just a few very select items, such as, I suppose, the runes we found. Only the most skilled of their craftsmen were allowed to work on that altar you see over there. Being Zaklar, a runesmith, was one of the most respected positions in Shaper society, and only those of the priest caste were even considered. I'm guessing that whatever miracle allowed them to create these ghost watchers outside was also manufactured here. <laughs> hitting them all. Huh. And where exactly does that energy they channel in here come from? What is it? Well, that's one of the great Shaper mysteries. There's many theories and few facts. But the most likely one is that it draws from some kind of world essence. The same we mages use to cast magic. If something like that exists, why have I never heard about it before? As I said, it's just one of many theories. I might be completely mistaken. So this is also some kind of archive? Well, not in the traditional sense. I doubt you'll find a lot of books here. Did you just say they used this place to communicate? Yes. Apparently, some shapers were able to communicate with each other by thought alone. I've heard about that. But what does this nexus have to do with it? Well, their telepathy wasn't an innate skill. It was something the higher castes learn through some of their minds to that pillar. They were connected. Sounds useful. Well, that does sound useful. And a little bit scary. Nehav's hammer. Do you feel that? Energy. Seems there's still some left. Yeah. And what's that? 
Hmm. Looks like some kind of anvil. Could that be where the Shapers forged their creations? Very likely so, yes. Hmm. We... Wait. How about a little experiment? That strange rune Lacan gave you. Could I, uh, borrow it for a moment? What for? As I said, a little experiment. These shards we found on the ghosts outside. I think I might be able to combine them with our rune. <laughs> uh, go ahead. All right. Go ahead. Thank you. Huh. Well, that's interesting. What? The runes. They look alike. So, Lacane gave us a shaper rune? Might be, yeah. Did he say this was a gift from Aeonir? He seemed to think it was a gift from Aeonir. Huh. Interesting. Well, I personally don't believe in Aeonir handing out gifts to his followers, but as you can tell by the godstones all over the city, he played a role in the Shaper's faith too. So, technically, it could be both a Shaper rune and a gift from the Allfather. Hmm. And you're still sure you want to do this? I am. It may take a while, so I suggest you take a look around in the meantime. Hmm. Now, would you look at that? What's that? Hmm. Looks like a map of Fiara. A very old one. Fascinating. So this is what the world looked like during the reign of the Shapers. That's fascinating. Indeed. You see those markings? Glyphs. They look like someone carved them into the stone. Hmm. Can you make out what they say? I've been trying, but... Yes. Yes, that's it. Over here, quickly! Is Grim? Ah, there you are. I was right. It worked. Look. I don't see anything. Just take a look. Here, Tar. I... Ah. Whoa. W what the heck just happened? What did you do? I don't know. The room. It... It must have reacted to you somehow, Tahar. Yes. But why? What did you do to it? I... Joined it with the shards we found on the Ghost Watchers. I'm guessing that caused some kind of magical reaction when you, as the rune owner, touched it. So we're bound to the city now? No, of course not. But I think the rune got stronger. Still, I'll have to do more research on this. I can't help but feeling that these runes are an ocean and we've merely touched the surface. Let's just hope there isn't a monster on the bottom. Anyway, what now? We still haven't learned anything new about the Bloodburn or the song. That's right, we haven't. But while I was working on the rune, a thought occurred to me. Remember how I told you that some of the higher caste shapers were able to communicate by thought alone, by telepathy? Frankly, I believe that's exactly <gasps> what the song is. Telepathy. You mean we're hearing the thoughts of a shaper? The shapers are extinct, so no. But it might be someone else using shaper magic or, or, or sort of mental echo. The memories of the dead. The song is telepathy? The song is telepathy? You mean, what we are hearing? Isn't an actual sound, but a thought translated by your mind, yes. That explains why not everybody hears it, doesn't it? Why do we then? Probably because of our magical gifts. It makes sense, doesn't it? So, somebody is talking in our heads. That's bizarre. I'm not sure what you mean by a mental echo. Well, the Shapers left all kinds of traces, didn't they? And those specters we fought on the surface are a proof that their magic is still prevalent. Also, we know they use telepathy to communicate, so who knows? Maybe this song is just a lost, forgotten thought that somehow made it through the millennia. Hmm, that's almost poetic. How does that help us? Be that as it may, how does that get us any closer to finding a cure for the Bloodburn? Because it tells us what has to be done next. Reactivate the Nexus. Why? Because it might allow us to do the same thing that the Shapers did. Join our minds to that pillar. We could connect to the collective subconscious of an extinct race. Which then again could help us understand the song and its origin. Sounds intriguing. Sounds dangerous. Hmm, that sounds intriguing. How do we reactivate it though? Good question. But I believe those two pedestals have something to do with it. I'm pretty sure they're what used to be conjuring the energy of this place. And they're empty. 
So we need to find whatever was in there, don't we? A power source. Yeah. The only question is how. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Let's get back to that map. I think Iskrim should take a look at it. Huh? Sure. Here we go. What do you make of this, Iskrim? A map of old Fiara. By Nehalf, this is... This is incredible. Yes, but I was talking about those markings. They look as though they were added manually, don't they? I've started translating them already, but I'm stuck. Can you take a shot? Let me see. Saganar... Zvuledon. It's French! Stones of... Wait. You're right. The stones of the essence and their location. Well, that's convenient. Stones of the essence? So they are the power sources we're looking for. They must be, yes. But why would someone hide the stones and then mark their location? Who says someone hid them? Maybe they were just brought somewhere else. It's common knowledge that the last years of the Shapers were chaotic, and they might have had a good reason to abandon this nexus. Then maybe it's not a good idea to bring them back, don't you think? Well, the thing is, without the stones, we're stuck. We need this place up and running to understand the song. Even if my theory about it being telepathy is wrong, without power, we can't access the archive neither. Then we need to find them. Absolutely. And I suggest we start right away. We... Hold your horses. We're not getting these stones anytime soon. Why? Because if that map is anywhere near accurate, one of those stones is located in what's now Aeonir's Blade. No point going in there without an army. The Iron Falcons. Right. Iron Falcons? You don't know. The Iron Falcons are an order that is protecting the tomb of Foil Dark. They're fighting the world's end, so to speak. What about the other marking, Iria? Maybe... Hold on, Fial Darg? Oh, the Fial Darg? The ancient evil? Yeah, them. According to the lore, the Guardians locked them in this tomb. But the seal has gotten weaker as time went by. So, for over 800 years, the Iron Falcons have been protecting it. I'm surprised you know so little of your own country's lore, Tahar. Well, my father was never interested in old myths. The Fial Darg aren't a myth. Not at all. If it weren't for the Falcons, Fiara would be history by now. That's not to say they're a likable bunch. Word has it that they're fanatically religious, self-righteous pricks. But I guess living in the desert with only skeletons to keep you company does that to you. What about the other marking? That one's even worse. This land where the marking points to doesn't even exist anymore. It's right in the Black Sea. Damn it, you're right. But, huh. That doesn't necessarily mean that this island doesn't exist anymore, does it? Maybe the cartographers of our era simply haven't discovered it yet. We could build a ship, right? Sail there and find out. Yeah, maybe. But again, for that we need support. Someone who can provide us with influence, money, and at least some troops against whatever we'll face there. Not Have you heard of Lucky One X? Former general has probably greatest influencer? On us. <laughs> Ideas? <laughs> huh. What about that village mayor, Clara Farlin? Didn't she tell us something about certain friends she has? True. And there was a shapeshifter. Yeah, though I still don't think this is a good idea. How about the Moorhair Elves? You told me they're investigating the Bloodburn too, didn't you? We fought them in Leonon. We fought them in Leonon. I doubt they'll be eager to cooperate. They know they made a mistake. That Scryer, she snapped and given General Noria's intentions, she wasn't even that wrong to do so. I'm pretty sure they'll listen to what we have to say, especially if they're struggling with the blood burn themselves. All right, it might be worth a try. All right, we got some levels. Tell us about the deep lore. There is no deep lore. That's what they want you to think about. There is no deep lore. Never was. Never existed. Yuria. What is affinity? At least keep it at zero. Mm. 
this is really good if we go like bow and that's what she is so Why are you not BBD? I am. D, B, B. An L, but L is not. We didn't choose that. Hey there, Dark. How's it going? All right, now we get to choose the world map. We get to decide who will be our allies for today. Hey, Dark, can you fill out my survey? I got a survey that people need to fill out. It's very important. Can someone link that to Dark, please? I'm sure he'll go out of his way to be nice and fill that out respectfully and truthfully. Oh my God. Prologue, Leonon. So we have the choice between helping out the refugees, meet with the orcs, or meet with the elves. What do we do? Humans, orcs, or elves? Work boys, all right. In the shadow of the eponymous mountain lies the wasteland referred to as the foot of Bargagor. It is home to the orcish tribe called the Firewielders, as well as to many unforgiving beasts, from the undead to demons. Demons? While most travelers stay away from Bargagor for this very reason, the Firewielders cherish their homeland's perils. According to Orcish culture, only through constant conflict and danger can a people stay strong and persevere. I don't know about that. All right, here we are, the foot of Bargagor. And you still think this is a good idea? I don't think we have a choice. We need all the allies we can find. <laughs> not a, uh, not very yes. convincing, though. If it isn't the dreaded corporal, I was just about to go on my own. Well, you're in luck. It turns out we do need an ally. Troops, to be precise. I had a feeling. And yes, I can help you, provided you help me first. That was the deal. What do you want? It was a deal. In preventing a war. Preventing? I don't mean to be rude, but aren't your kind usually the ones who Your start? kind? That's what most people think. Let me explain. The leader of our tribe is planning to reignite an old war. The war of the six races. The race war? In other words, he wants to send this world back into chaos. It's stupid and dangerous. But many of my brethren fail to see that. Krell tells them that our tribe has become weak. And that by invading the Nortander and the Elven Empire, we will teach the world to live in fear of us again, as it should be. Uh, the yeah, the, the glowing is, no uh, benefit from the, I put it on, but we can take the it off. The Firewielders would be wiped out. That's as sure as the sunrise. And both the humans and the Elves would suffer greatly from this. Krell tells them that we'd be honoring the struggle, but we wouldn't. The struggle? It's the act of a fool. <laughs> what do you mean by the struggle? The struggle? Ah, right. Sorry. I forgot that I'm talking to a pale skin. The struggle is the core of our culture. At the heart of everything that lives, there's conflict. 
The wolf hunts the deer. The deer runs from the wolf. Without the deer's flesh, the wolf dies. But if there were no wolf, so would the deer. I know, right? I, right, young? Without an enemy. Just it as would planned. With no constraint. It would procreate until there's no more plants for the deer to eat. Their peace would be their doom. And it's the same with every being. Where there's no conflict, there's stagnation. And stagnation leads to downfall. This is why there has to be the struggle. But we shouldn't discuss this now. All you need to know is that Krell's actions are a threat. Not only to the orcs, but also the other races. Why then? What is this Krell hoping to gain from it then? Well, there's two reasons. First of all, the bloodburn. So the orcs are suffering from it too? Yes, not as much as you humans do. But there have been outbreaks in some of the tribes. Krell claims that the humans and the elves have manufactured it to wipe us out. Which is why that war would be justified. That's absurd. Yes, and he knows it too. But that doesn't stop him from using it to rally the clans behind him nonetheless. And that's the second reason. Krell is a self-obsessed fool. He became High Chieftain with lies and false promises. And people have started to see through that. So now he has no choice but to act. Like Gowron from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. I see. And what do you intend to do? Stop him. All culture is based on two pillars. Strength and wisdom. And I will show him the power of the second one. By allying with a human and defeating Krell, the Fire Wielders will see that even an unlikely alliance can result in strength. So you want to fight him? Challenge him. But since he's a coward, I doubt he'll accept. Which is what you're here for. There's a second plan if the first one fails. And in return, I'll get troops? And in return, I'll get troops. Yes. If I stop Krell, I will have the whole Fire Wielder tribe behind me. We're gonna have orc warriors? Men and warriors orc to support orc. your cause. No, it's Zug Zug. Agreed. When are you planning to challenge him? Now. He has agreed to meet me. And I was just about to leave. Ah, one more thing. What's your name? Babu. Tahar. Good. Then let us be off Tahar. Krell will meet us northeast from here. No more infantry. Only or Oh! New mage just dropped? Alright, what do you got? Shapeshifting, full furry, black magic, or magic? Oh, we're going full furry. Focus cost of abilities is reduced. Okay. Shapeshift wolf, shapeshift bear. Ooh. If target is elf, increase attack damage. If target is human, increase attack damage. Uh, okay. Odom, are you a barbarian? Yeah, maybe a bear tank. That could be good. War bear. Attack, so I have a chance to play weakened. That could be good. So I'm going to totem that applies impaired and weakened. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right. 
Um, so we're gonna go in bear mode. He also skill and intelligence, so we go dudes. Yeah, about like that. Flaming wand, Gore's armor. Have a helmet. Elemental magic ability cooldowns minus 20. Well, you're not going to use that, buddy. So have your elemental magic. Isn't that his grim? Cannot be used by dwarf. Can only be used by gore. All right. Air form and earth totem. Yes, fair enough. Let's do this. All right, here goes nothing. Let's burn them, they will fall. Ah! Bear time. Uh, bear time? Oh, he keeps getting canceled. It's kind of sad. I thought we were going bear mode there, but no. Like looking at the stats and all that, we should have made Iskrim like a tank, keep you shielded. earth guy, make gore an elementalist Whatever and all necessary. that, but I think it's funnier this way. Uh, no. Sounds like a plan. Or maybe we do. Skipping dungeon. Now we're gonna More do the fun. dungeon. Don't worry. I just want to see the question mark. Got it. Now we're we'll going dungeon. That's okay. I'm gonna do it. Please don't leave. I'm going in the dungeon. Few people know that there is a reason for Bargagor's lifelessness. As okay. Don't care. I'm only here to fight. They will fall. Here we go. Ellen's reins. These goblins were mutilated. What creature would do such a thing? Well, Bargagor isn't the most hospitable place on Eo. So the answer is Mini. Mini? They can, um. Is that in? Is in shock? Bear time! Oh, he's a bear! Let me see. Barely effective. Hey, 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 hey. Sure. He did what he had to do. And that was transform into a bear. It does last a fairly long time, too. Let's see. Full plate armor. Yeah. Five 
five con. Who has five con? Oh, you do. There you go. Fully armored, huh? bear man. All right. I guess he's kind of like a druid. Did you hear that? You know. Yes. And I'm not sure I like it. Shit! What in blazes are you doing here? Get out! Ah. Bear time. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. What did you do? Save your life? Save your life? Oh, really? Well, thanks for nothing, sir, hero. I invoked that demon. The devourer. You? Why? To share a shrub of fucking grapes with her. To fight her, damn it. What did you think? Her? Her? Yeah. I know that thing doesn't look like your average sailor man's fantasy. But according to the Encyclopedia Sinistra, devourers only ever possess women. Thus the pronoun. You summoned a demon to fight it? <sighs> well, for that magic you carry in you, you certainly know shit about demonology. Damn, it was too I'm slow. A scholar, I, take it. I was a battle mage. Royal army. Figures. To learn how to control a demon race, you first need to fight it. Tame it, as we say. And guess what? That's just what I was trying to do until you popped in and nullified the fucking ritual. <laughs> this doesn't matter, right? He still talks over it. So, you just came to this cave in Barga Gore to battle a demon. Why should I tell you? We could use someone with your talents. Fine, then I'll leave you be. What do we say? We could use someone with your talents. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I'm not a mercenary. Now, if you'll excuse me. So Taha, we're done here? Then let's get back to the task at hand. Wait, Tahar? As in, shit, you're his son? The betrayer's child? I am. Huh, that's unexpected. What in blazes are you doing here? I mean, shouldn't you be up in Greykeep with all your royal friends? I should, but things happened. You want to hear the story? Hmm, huh. yeah, I think I do. <laughs> Two hours later. The blood burn. Huh. Am I the only one who finds it fucking ironic that the leader of the Purity of Light is trying to save mankind? So far, all they did was torture and kill the living shit out of us. It is ironic, yes. It's ironic. I agree. And suspicious if you ask me. But who am I to judge? You know, I've always been somewhat fascinated by your father. How so? Fascinated? He was a warmonger. Well, yeah, his methods were questionable, but he was damn right about everything he said. He saw this whole shit show coming before anyone else did. You mean the persecution of mages? Yeah, there's never been a secret that the people fear what they don't know, is it? It was only a question of time until that fucking hatred would pop open like a blister full of pus. Your father, Isamo Tahar, saw that coming and tried to stop it from happening. He had the guts to do what other people were too afraid to do. Maybe his goal was right, but his methods were wrong. Well, his goal was right, but his methods were wrong. Yeah, the war is never pretty. Anyway, your story is as intriguing as your father's, I'll give you that. And since I don't exactly have many obligations, I'll take you up on your offer, if it still stands. Why the sudden change of mind? I told you, I like the idea of working with Asamo Tahar's living heir. And also, I'm curious about what there is to this blood burn. Well then, welcome aboard. Oh, we get to choose our allies. What kind of guy is he? He's an occultism, brutality, discipline. So, got some demonic moves. Demon mode.
<laughs> the bear orc? No, we gotta keep him. He's locked in. You'll have to bear with it a little longer. <laughs> All right, well, no one uh, has anything to say. Oh, okay. I thought you you said the bear orc to be replaced by Euror. Stated my preference. All right, we'll go with Frickle. Yes, but just wait at the border of Bargagor. We'll join you once we've done what we came here to do. Sounds great. Let me just clean up the mess here first. Sure. Kick out Chatar. I can't do that. He's Fair the enough. hero. Let's do this. Blast it hard. Let's burn them. Here we go. I mean, is Grim we could replace with um, Thor? All right. Here goes nothing. Here we go. For the fire wielders. You don't wield fire, man. You, you just turn into a bear. That's your thing. That's your jam, man. That was pretty decent. Pretty decent size. Kettle hat of focus. Well, more focus is always good. Oh, yeah. I wanted to kick Iskram out because he has no hat. Hmm. No hat? Yes. Yeah, exactly. It's funny fun it's funny hat Fridays. It's Sunday. Uh oh. Uh oh. What am I gonna do with all these hats? Watch out, undead. Get ready. Yeah, well they're gonna be pretty dead soon enough. Bear time. We need the demonologist. But he swears all the time. What are we gonna do? How will the stream be fa family friendly? I don't want this to show up in the worst streams, the worst long play. European audience can cope with it. I highly doubt that. They're very, very sensitive. Understood. Whatever's necessary. As stupid as their whole damn tribe. Shut up, Gore. What's the meaning of this? Who are these pale skins? My allies. I'm here to challenge you to a duel, Krell. I will be the new High Chieftain of the Firewielders. I hope this is a joke. No. 
You are a danger to our race, and I won't stand by while you drag us into chaos. Once again, I challenge you to a duel, here and now. Kill them, and feed their corpses to the undead. Kill me? I'm a bear. You got it. What is the archer doing? Sure. Just give the word. Here we go. Huh? Get ready. Oh my god, he's a bear and the bear is armored? Just as I expected. Bloody coward. Time for our second plan. Which is? We'll storm his cow. What's a cow? His homestead. His camp. If he doesn't want to face me like a child of Zarak would, we'll force him to. Isn't there Isn't another way? The only way? Can't you, I don't know, talk to him? About what? His delusion? Believe me, I've tried that for months. But we can't take on an entire army by ourselves. I know that, Taha. But luckily, I'm not the only fire wielder with sense left in him. There's a camp of my brethren nearby who've been sympathizing with my cause. Sympathizers? And who promised me their support if push comes to shove. Follow me. Huh? Uh, all right. Why not? Oh, we can go to the caverns again. Why not? I'll keep you shielded. All right, here goes nothing. They will fall. No, caverns. Here we go. With the K. Get him, bear. Finish the survey. Thank you very much for your for your time. Much appreciated. This way, right? You your age, work. sixty plus. Ah, more fighting. What's wrong with that? This isn't nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with being a bit old, right? Well, keep you shielded. Old and bold is like is what I like to say, right? <laughs> That's funny. This is very funny. For the fire wielders. I'd like to have a sixty plus watcher. That way? I could bond with them. Get ready. Whatever's necessary. Interesting. All of the forest. I keep getting unique items. Don't know what to do with them. Let's do this. They will fall. All right. I 
I'd link it to my 90 year old grandpa, but I don't think he knows what a link is. Why didn't you show it to your grandpa? Bring him to the age of information instead of leaving him behind. Are they making combat quips? Because I'm attack moving. So, <laughs> he unplugged the computer to turn it off. Oh. Yes. I'll take a look. That's pretty funny. Let me see. I mean, he's not wrong. It will turn it off. Is that Kaladin? Are we getting raided by Kaladin? Worry. How was the strength? That's the way. Ah. Yeah, who would have thought? Our great bonding moment was Spell Force Danger 3. Oh, yeah. Hit up Kaladin with the survey quickly before he leaves. Spam it in his DMs until he hates us. No, don't do that. Do it. Do it. Uh, all right. Why not? Ah! Oh, fine. For the fire wielders. You're going the right way. I was not going the right way. Whatever's necessary. Galadin! I need you to do something for me. Can you help me out? I need you to answer this survey about the channel. Would be much appreciated. Who are you? Where's Zargo? In a better place. You're here to rally against him, aren't you? Good thing I told him that would happen. Get out of my sight. Why? Because you think these orcs support your cause? They don't. They only pretend to because Zargol told them to. And seeing who you choose to surround yourself with makes me understand why. Pale skins here at the foot of Barga Gore? Honestly, Gore, how low can you go? These pale skins will do what all of you are too scared to do. Put an end to the orc who will kill us all if we don't stop him. That's to all of us. This isn't strength, Gore. This is treason. Shut your mouth, Tuck. Gore has done more for our tribe than any of you. Really? Can't you see he's using you? He doesn't give a damn about the fate of the fire wielders. All he wants is Krell's Kyle for himself. But as I said, it's not too late to turn back. Think about it. All you'll do is throw away your life for a traitor. Krell will restore our race to its former glory with... <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with talking. Face me. Or are you as much of a coward as your leader? Balrak, you piece of shit! <laughs> Just die already! The wrong challenge, buddy. Now we have to bear the consequences. Kill the traitor. Ah. 
Take him down! Take him down! <laughs> so slow. Kill Gore. Tear his bloody guts out. Let's burn them. Just die already. I can do more damage not Kill as a bear. Traitor. Decided. Kill him! Kill that traitor! For Gore! For the Fire Welders! I don't know if it's unlosable though. No! I no. Bloody fools. You attacked him. If I hadn't, he would have drawn more on his side. How can you know that? I just do. And this piece of shit killed Zargo. He didn't deserve any better. Sorry, but this is nonsense. We've been here for not even an hour, and all you've done so far is slaughter each other. Are you done? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we have it's coffee we cup moment. Operations. Now, this is where you come in. If you remember, I saw what you did in Farlon's Hope, leading those rosy-cheeked farm boys against the Ash Reavers and winning. That was impressive, which is why I want your advice. I'm a shaman, not a tactician. You realize that I know nothing of orc tactics, do you? Warfare is a worldwide art to heart. There's not much to know, apart from our weapons and our traditions, but I'll guide you. But will your brothers even follow me? No, but me. And I'll follow your advice. Also, they saw how you can fight. They know you're not a coward. Fair enough. What's the plan? Simple. Kill Krell. In theory, we could attack right now. But he'll know we're coming. So we need to think tactics. I'm all ears. We need to win the other clans. The Kar, the Nook, and the Kran. Each of them have their own specialty, which we can use against Krell. The clans? I thought you were all firewielders. We are. But unlike in your kind, a firewielder isn't just a firewielder. Every tribe has dozens of clans, different weapons, traditions, sometimes even different languages. Tell me about the car. Hmm. What about the car? They are probably the most civil of the clans. Which is why I think they'll be more easily convinced to follow us. Their fighting style is the most balanced. Their fighters form the core of every ambush. Who are the Nock? Who are the Nock? Uh, the ones I'm most worried about. They are the most vicious and brutal fighters of our tribe, with an almost eerie tolerance for pain. Who, as you can guess, are all for Krell's madness. But I have a friend within their ranks. If we can find him, he might help us win them over. Suri was 10 minutes long? Yeah. I mean, it was shorter, but then I showed it to uh, Shadow and he was like, oh, why don't you add this question and this question and this question? I see. Like, okay. The K Ren, who are they? Outsiders who mostly like to keep to themselves. They are extremely religious and devoted to Zarak. If the lands were less harsh on known wolves, so many they would have probably errors. formed their own tribe long ago. However, they are the best hunters the orcs have to offer. They use javelins to attack from a distance. Hmm, that could come in handy. Understood. So how do we win them over? There are two ways. Every clan has a champion, just as this one had Zargo. If we beat the champion, they will probably submit to our lead. Some of the clans are loyal to Krell, and will have heard of my treason by now. 
So they'll probably attack us on sight. In other words, blood will be spilled. Others, such as the K-Ran, may listen to reason. So there's another way other than defeating their champion? As I said, there may be. We'll need to find out. Ah, and Krell won't stand by and watch. It'll be a while, but he'll strike soon enough. We have to be prepared. All right. I'll see what I can do. The Oryx. To exist means to struggle. All right. Aggressive and expansive playstyle. Foot forward, research units. Have totems. Oh, boy. lumber mill going let's get a stone cutter get a hunting cabin get some barracks Maybe two barracks. No, we don't have enough. Oh, actually. Our workers are under attack. Looking at the time, I do believe. Yes. We're going to call it there early today. And we keep the whole work thing for tomorrow. Get in there, bear. Yeah, tomorrow is even more. Um, Spell Force 3. My wizard decided to go solo some uh, moles, but here we are. Maybe for one second we'll have a little lull in the combat so I can save an exit. Fighting! All right, so uh, we'll call it there for tonight. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time which is tomorrow with more uh spell force 3 so tune into that if you're interested and uh yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you next time